Something like that, maybe. There was a little bit of an oopsie in there, as you can hear. Because, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> well! Well, there we are. Here we are, attempting to try and do some sort of uh, <laughs> Even I'm series of, of, of lessons. Yeah. Um, because... But, well, so, you've been asking out there, can you do a... You know, we've been doing all these jams, all of these two years now. We get, you know, you guys, you and Chappers and me and Mick and, you know, all of and Ariel and all of us, we just have a jam in the beginning and the end and sometimes in the middle of the videos and people have been going, can we do some backing tracks? So I just thought, okay then, I will okay. try to, okay then, okay. <laughs> all right then. So I did 10 backing tracks, which are uh, on iTunes at the moment and yep. also on other channels. I know it's going to probably take a little while before because we sort of Google give Play it to someone. Google Amazon. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, we'll put a link in the description yeah, absolutely. below. Absolutely. And so we thought just to show you kind of what to play. I mean, so... I mean, I, I sit here listening and watching Pete on YouTube uh, amazed at how uh, original everything that he plays is and obviously I come along and I just play the same old blues licks admittedly probably not, slightly better no. than I was playing them a couple of years ago but you know still same old same old still really struggling with this idea of when to play major or minor yeah sort of sounding so scales yeah and uh, still still probably not struggling is the wrong idea but it just doesn't come naturally to play um, certain notes out of different uh of different uh, sort of pentatonic positions yeah so i just thought hey why not we'll do these 10 backing tracks and in a series of lessons presumably 10 lessons yeah pete will kind of go through them with me uh and of course if you want to download the backing track and grab your guitar as well you can do the same thing do that. play along join along with us join along and send us the things in where you jam along there was a guy the other day who put on an oh, instagram cool. and he he tagged me in the post and it was really cool and it sounded great i mean Great chops. Can't remember what track it was, but there's ten different tracks, and you know we'll probably try to do some more later on with some like I'll probably do something with Joss and get some some more rock sort of oh, things yeah, on, like and, and and try to Danny do Pete something. Plays death metal. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean um, there's have to be something well, look, for everyone, right? So what's this? What, what so, are we starting? I mean, off? what's this song called? So this, <laughs> so we 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 had to find some come up with some kind of uh, <laughs> names for these songs, uh, and this one is kind of a. It's called Sultry and Steamy. Salty and Steamy? Sultry. Oh, Sultry. Yeah, not Salty and Roger Steamy. Roger Sultry. Something. Yeah, I think it was kind One of, of a... my favourite singers. It's a little, it was a little bit kind of Gilmore's, wasn't it? I think it is. That whole sort of vibe was a little bit Pink floyd -y. Uh so, so the chords are, are based around an E minor. Okay. On this one, so based around an E minor. And then it goes to C chord. And actually C major 7. So you remove your... Um, just to give it a bit more spice, and then it goes to the, uh, the an A minor, maybe an A minor seven, and then it goes to an E. So that's okay. the verse bit. So it goes very Floydy. See, so he's playing all the naughty chords. Yeah, but I'm not no I mean, so all the chords we can also have a look at the chords. How to? Yeah. I, I basically played them very, very simple to kind of get, uh, you know, to to 
it so if if there's some chord that are big and like like this like thing, thing you love it you know you? yeah it's great and 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 the good thing about those chords is they'll make you let's stay on target sound better let's yeah, because <laughs> what, the chord thing what we might do is do this set of lessons twice round and we'll focus on like lead lines over the first yeah, one because let's do the lead first the chord right? stuff i find the chord stuff so much more complicated than the lead stuff but anyway come yeah. on so, so so this is a I mean, so this is this is the root chords in E minor. Yeah, so but this is also a, a G major scale. So we're essentially going to play either an E minor pentatonic or a G major. Or an, e, an, e, an E minor scale. Yeah. But to to make it. Oh, okay. So that's not a pentatonic it, blues. It, scale. It's not really a pentatonic blues. Scale, but I mean, eighty percent of what I play and what I and play whatever is normally. <laughs> It, which is an E minor pentatonic on right. E pentatonic scale, yeah. right? Yeah. Which is the same as the G. So what I do is I tend to focus on the the notes in the in the chords which are the which determine whether the it's a minor. Mm -hmm. So with this third. So if you've got an E minor, you know. So if you're playing an E minor, yeah, you can't play no. because that note will make it a major chord and then then it's just wrong like i probably did at some point in the beginning uh, so so uh so you need to tend to sort of sort of focus and aim for those notes right yeah see oh see so i can't play because that's no. that would make so, it part of the major so even 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 if you say i'm gonna play like a, a blues thing and normally in a blues you go you will you will throw in that that would make it to that, but it's kind but of okay because it is a blues and it's fine. But in this in this world, when you are in this kind of the moody world, in that environment, that's not that's not, not, not good. It's not happening. So and and to be fair, when you want to do the blues, sometimes you go. That's, that's not no right either. either. So the, you'll find out when you if you put this backing track on and you let it roll. Yeah. You can you will you will hear if you're playing. That, Those that's are the just two that you note. can't have. Yeah. So that's why the pentatonic is so great to start out with, to start from. Right. So if you run the track, and you basically let's focus on on the pentatonic. To, yeah. So your pentatonic scale, and it's always good to learn where that pentatonic scale is everywhere yeah. around the fretboard. Yeah. So all see, of those positions, right? And that's where I see. I don't think that the way to you can learn the five. Um, positions of the pentatonic scale pentatonic. distinctly. Say in a... or you can... or yeah. you can go. Uh, where is it then? No. Yeah. Whatever. They're all, yeah. They're all over the place. Yeah. But I think if you go from sort of top to bottom in, within the same scale, yeah, you miss the opportunity to do all those lovely slides yes. and bends and everything. So I think the, re the really nice stuff is where you're you're able to very smoothly piece together three or four elements of the scale from yes. different shapes in in a different in round of fretboard. Because if you're if you're playing, so I was talking to Josh about this as, as well yesterday. If you play the same thing two different places, so like. Uh, or you play. They sound, sound completely different. Mm. So you might, you might, you know, like rolling off the tone a little bit and then go. Right? Or. It's a completely different tone they're, they're, of how you get it's it. It's like a fatter sound, the fatter the string, isn't it? So if you can well, play you the can, same you, note on the. Yeah, you might say that. And, and I did a little lesson on my own channel as well at some point where it was like a one string solo. Yeah. So where you, let's say you want to do that penta, you. Where you kind of find all of those E, this is an E minor scale, so I'm now playing the 9 for instance, so, so I'll put in the 9 because that's lovely. So I'll put the 9 in, so uh, no, it's, you know, these are the notes that you kind of have to target. So, just refresh my memory again. Yeah. <laughs> See, this is this is why so we're doing this. Sevenths and ninths and everything. This is uh, this yeah. is all a reference to a chord, is it? Or th or this is a this reference, is reference to the notes to the in the scale. scale. So you've got, you know, every if we if we are go from the E minor, which is yeah. a, the same as a G, right? G and E minor. 
G so, and E minor is the same so scale, it's right? It's the same notes. Right? Same so notes. So if you if you hear this, that means you can. Play. And if you start from the E, it's all the same notes. So I'm playing all the same notes, but it's the chord that kind of determines whether the notes are. In, I mean, I mean, the, there is no wrong notes. Yeah, you're right. But they will if sound you, wrong. But there is, in, no, in, in, in a way, there's no... Guthrie Gath, Govan says, say. if you play anything with enough conviction and get to the next note fast enough, there you go. then basically nothing's that's, wrong. That's chromatic. <laughs> you can literally go... You know, you could potentially get away with it if you look cool enough. I mean, and then and play it fast enough, then it's fine. Um, but so you kind of... But going from the... I find going from the pentatonic and working your way from there... And then working those little those little notes into so see that see I must admit I I find it impossible my brain isn't quick enough or or I'm not aware enough of what the scales are to know about sevenths and ninths all I know is that when a song has a slightly more melancholy sort of minor vibe about yeah. it. I'll know that there are passing notes within the pen, within the scale that I can throw in, and they sound okay. Yeah. But I don't really know if they're sevenths or ninths or. No, but see, this is where this is where you kind of you know it's good to have the knowledge. As yeah. I remember that he uh, that um, the Gothi said, you know, he knows everything there is to know about it, but he only brings it out when it's when he have to. He's got it sort of in a backpack somewhere, mm -hmm. and then he goes, oh. Oh, and then it, it just comes um, automatically and goes back again. Didn't Eric Gale say the same thing? Yeah. It's like it's like you have to, well, I say you have to, obviously I don't, but the, the, the level that he's at, you have to absolutely know where everything is yeah. in your toolkit so that when you need the right tool, you, open up you just go. subconsciously, you're like, boom, yeah. there it is. You put your hand on the spanner without even knowing where it is. Yeah, yeah. It's like the ninth. Hand, hand me a 16. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then, then there you, there you, you can see Come what on. it is. I mean, yeah. So play, so play the first few bars of this track so, and show me yeah, so where you let's, might go Let's do with a this. very simple, simple riff, yeah. right? So just let's do something that just goes so like that, which could be, in, if, if, I, if, I, if I were to play it, if, I'm, if you play, oh, this sounds like another song, doesn't it? If you play a G, for instance, if you play the G chord, and now play, then all of a sudden, but if you, it's if got you, a happier sound. To it's it, got a happier. No, but that, yeah, because I'm playing the G chord. Yeah. But if I play the minor chord, play play an E minor. Okay. And then you go. Oh. Then you see, all of a sudden it changes, sad. right? So then it's sad. So actually, the chord kind of determines whether whether. So let's just run. Let's yeah, just run it. the first little bit. Do it. So. So that's all blues. And it, but is it not? I, I could play it here. Are you? You know your. What do they call like the note that you that you're ending each of those phrases on? Yeah. Like the the, the, the final. The end is note. It, is it just called the end note? Because <laughs> that's really important, though, isn't it? Yeah. That, the, that, it is important that you end on the right note, so it because, doesn't. So you don't go. You know. No, but I need not necessarily even wrong notes. But you know, you did this thing of you were saying over. Fruit. Um, no, it's not necessarily it's the, not root, the root note because the, the root note so, would be the one so in the chord, right? If I if I played an E minor chord and we imagined that that was what the, the song yeah. was in was in yeah. the sort of E minor, you can end on the root your, note, not on the E. Yeah, you can. But your your the note that you would end a phrase on would be different to the note that you would end a phrase on if it we were playing a G chord. So yeah. the notes would all still be in the same scale, yeah. but to, but to accent the kind of the mood of the phrase, Roop. yeah, you you, you, you know. would end on. Yeah. A, well, just so if, if you I, go on E minor, for instance, I cannot end on. But if I and, and if, now if we would forget that chord and get that out of your mind, and now imagine we're doing a happy song, which is. See, there's some notes that doesn't really work, but let's say I go. But, if you wanted to keep that, if you wanted to keep that phrase kind yeah. of ha so a happy me, phrase, okay. you'd yeah, end let on me a, good. So, okay. See, I wouldn't end on there. No, it doesn't I work. So. 
I would end on there, and it's kind of you can't you. And that that, end, that chord end is the, the G. On, on the so bend. that is the root note again. Yeah, you can eat on you. Can... So now it's happy, yeah. isn't it? And if you end on the E minor, now it's sad. So then it goes sad, happy and sad. <laughs> See, that was that's all I think of in yeah. the sense of I. I I'm not thinking of sevenths and ninths and everything. Yeah. I'm thinking of happy or sad notes. Absolutely, and I think it's very important for. for it's very important. But you're the master. You're the je you're yeah, Yoda. I, I don't think. I'm so. I mean, Skywalker, I'm not. Again, so. I'm one of those guys that have. I've learned a lot when I yeah. when I did study, but I've kind of forgotten everything, <laughs> and it's kind of just gone away. But it. But I kind of played so much that I know kind of what is where what goes. Yeah. It's like if you are playing like a blues or you're playing a major or minor, um, kind of blues. When do you play? You know. Oh. When so is it right? When so is it wrong is, to play the major you're playing, or minor? Sorry, that first lick you're playing out of a um, a G. So no, the, the, so on, on on the E minor, for instance. Well, no, when you just literally did that, you were when you were just doing the the walking. Yeah, yeah. Like that. So, so the, what was that blues. first bit that you? So you're just playing it from a different part. Of yeah, so it's still pentatonic, but so I'm just playing the major five pentatonic. Or whatever. Yeah, but it's it's like so a simple. If you go all the way back, and I remember saying, you know, somebody told me way way back that if you play your pentatonic, the 12th fret in an E, you go. Yeah. Then it's kind of a bluesy. But yeah. if you move that down, four steps. Yeah. And this is kind of sort of a um, an easy way to remember it. Move down four steps, play the same thing. But then, then you kind of go, oh, what note is right and what note is wrong? So then you play, if you play the blues thing, for instance, and I go. <laughs> keep stay on the E. And then if I play it here. I'm kind of playing the same kind of thing that. Right? But it just turns into a major. And it's like playing. Uh, it's like playing a major scale, but without all of those notes that are not really... They are important, all the notes are important, but you can you can leave some of the notes out. So That's why I'm saying I'm targeting in the, the one that is major or minor. You're targeting the one that makes it a seven, a dominant chord, or not a dominant chord. So the five, the three to five, and, the, and, and so the three and the five. It's like when you play, if you go to the D, in a, uh, if you go to the A, go to the A for instance, and then I'll play one of these. Oh, sorry, A. Yeah. So I'm targeting there because you're an A. So I'm playing one, three, five, seven, and back to E. So I'm going, and then I'm going. Then I'm targeting the three back on the E again. So all the time I'm thinking, what is the three, and what is the five, and what is the seven, and of what each is chord. and which chord is the dominant one. So normally the 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 dominant would be in a in an E blues would be the B, right? Right. And that would be a seven. So that would be, and then an A. You can hear the seven, and then you're back to here. So you can play the you can play that seven, and then on the E. I tell you what, we we've gone from we've, we've gone, gone from, from <laughs> basic level. Let's jam along to a track in blue to super advanced level. I've lost you, so let's rain it <laughs> but back this in. Is good, yeah. If we if we go back to that track, I just want to know. So could I play over that track either in an, a standard E pentatonic mm -hmm. or in this kind of like C sharp? No. Of? Try to play. I'm turning the track on. You try to play in All your right. C sharp. Okay. I'll go back from the beginning. I'm gonna make it work somehow. <laughs> So it's totally right. Now, why doesn't that work then? Because, where, it, when because it you are when in an E minor. Because it's not a major it's, thing. It's not a major that? thing. Right. So what would be the what would be the alternative? The alternative position is if the alternative I was, is the E pentatonic. Because no, the is e, there another one an alternative to to that to play over? Yes, this? that's that's what I'm trying to say. Okay. So if you if you play the E minor, yeah, you know, that is the same as the G. Right. You see what I mean? If if you think so if in a simple a, way, that would be a. If you're if you're in your G pentatonic, so because I could, we're an E, so I could you move play, it down. I could play G over that, yes, but, but not. It, I couldn't play 
But that is what you're playing. Well, hang on. I'm not playing. You're playing. Yes, you are playing. You play. Am I? So put, try to. That's what I'll tune a bit. Try to play. A, a, if you play the G. Okay, now I play the G chord. You play that. Okay. Pentatonic. But the G, the G, the E pentatonic. You don't. Oh, okay. Know, okay? The E one. Yeah. E minor. E minor. Pentaton, yeah. Okay. Okay, and then play again. Three, four. See now, all of a sudden, you see what you do. All of a sudden. I'm Automatically, you play the blues thing. I know, I can't help myself. Yeah. So if you now play, try to play uh, uh, the G pentatonic. So yeah. let's play the G pentatonic. Okay. okay. So that now it's a G. And then you play the E. Yeah. Play the E pentatonic. Target the notes so the... Target those notes? Just those. F That's it. Then all of a sudden you. Then all of a sudden it becomes the, the major. So there's, so there's, where, where there's about a circle so of fifth, right? So there's always like you've got your, your G. The circle of fifth. Tonight is the circle. Come on, Simba, show me the chords. <laughs> <laughs> But you, so there's always a, there's always a parallel chord to any other major chord. Actually, so you're, C, M you're Mufasa, I'm, I'm <laughs> the monkey that comes up, the, like the witch doctor hey, monkey. Hey, hey, I play the guitar. <laughs> That's all I'm about. That. So you got you got every every chord, every major chord. So the C has got your A7. That's the same. G is the E minor. Right, F is the D minor. So they all have got. If you move it down, let's say you know C. What, that's all I'm going to remember is that I go four below and then it should work. Yes, and then it's a minor. So you, you, if you're in a major, you go four below, then it's a minor. Yeah. It's a kind and of if a, you're a minor, a, you go four above and then it's the major. Is that no, how you get from your E to your G? No, not exactly how it works. I mean, there's, there's, you know, <laughs> and, and in that, in that respect, this, I think Chapman has, has did something about this as well. When you're playing your C scale, and you've played it from the second, mm -hmm. then it becomes a different. Then it becomes, a, then it becomes a D. Uh, uh, Dor Dorian and so on and so forth and then now we're going out there totally out there now we're out there and the every, everyone here is just going when are you going to play the blues track in E <laughs> <laughs> so that, <laughs> so that, but it is I'm, I'm just trying to I'm trying to it's you know it's one you've played for a long time it kind of these things kind of ha it just comes out I mean and a lot of people once they they know what where to go with yeah. their playing and know where not to go yeah it becomes more natural yeah. And then I think then it becomes uh, it becomes more about instead of playing all the quick and all the quick it's more about going Yeah. Your f your phrasing yeah. is something and the timing of the phrasing and the when to leave a pause yeah. is so that that's that is what that is what it takes a long time to learn. That's what taking me 30 years to to learn. Mm. To 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 know when to play a little bit and just play one note and that just so that'll kill let me whole... play over that yeah. for just like 30 seconds. and then you critique like where where do you think i mean i know you some of the stuff you critique about me is just because it's what i always play you need to try to yeah. get out of that box but let's try it let's try it then let's see what happens Sneaky. There's a little sneaky. There's a little sneaky, sneaky seven in there. Yeah. And then you need to kind of target that. So you. 
right? Because that's a seven of the B, so that's a B seven. So right? why is that? So when you're in your scale, if you're playing, sorry, the, sorry, I'm I'm wrong. Targeting the third. Right. Boom. Because it's like a because you get that. See what I mean? So you you can't you kind of think. But that's that why I kind of put that that's over why anything put, other than the B, would it? In no, that, if in you that. play, if you play, if I play a minor, and you play the same thing. Sounds like a James Bond. I mean, a yeah, moment like, where something bad's going to happen, doesn't it? Yeah, but you, um, but it, it works because you are targeting the third of that chord, uh, and the third will be so the third will be either minor. So you target that in in the B in the B. That means it's a. So you're targeting that bit, so that could be, for instance, with yeah. a little sort of, uh, this little spicy thing thrown in. Um, so, but, but it's kind of... So go, go back, so look, yeah. I know okay, when so I what, did that bit there, you play, what, there was one, some bit play less. Yes, so there's, there's definitely, definitely I play too much. I'll play less. And definitely, definitely, so play, play less. and. Yeah, you're right. I, I mean, just play less and, and focus more about I the think, note and not the yeah. speed. And I think the whole thing about picking, do like one little lick, and then try to see what that does when you move when the chord moving around. All so right. do that thing. Uh, what can we do? Let's, Let's start go the, back yeah. and then see. Let's see if we can find something. Uh. So let's say you start. If you if you stay within that that's those notes, right? Yeah, and which is all. Yeah. It's essentially it's just the way you play them. It's the way you approach yeah. the notes. Because if I play like this, it sounds very pentatonic mm, scaly mm, kind of thing. But mm. if you go. You know, it's yeah. a different vibe. You get a different vibe from it, and that's how. Even with the pick as well, I've tried to um, say that before. I will turn the pick to one side and play with the soft edge of it. See, so, there, there you I'm go. Doing that's too the. Much. That's yeah, the. That's I know. the yeah. But you would play that all the time because you've know. got a thing where you end. It's almost like going stop, stop play. <laughs> And then, you know, it's like if I would hold, if I would, if you can not play on one, for instance, if you get the chord, bam, 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 did it, bam, you know, and then wait, you know, let's 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 see if you can do, let's let's see if see you if can, I can do that then. You see if you can do the way where you. Okay. Uh, so I'll see I if I can hold your hand. <laughs> Yeah, see what's stop. On and stop. Yeah. And relax. So, wait. I was like, already, no. already there. Just, just said something really. It's like, it's, it's when, what did he say? It, it basically like, just said that, that, that when you have less notes and you the timing of those notes and the phrasing is right, it sounds like a proper guitar solo, yeah. as opposed to a guitar demonstrator going blah, 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 or whatever he does. Oh, it's just, just it, it's, it's being conscious about playing less. I know that more is more and that yeah. whole thing, and Ingvi, if you're watching, I know more is more, but you know, women don't want somebody just going <laughs> like that, because that's not, that's not good, it's not romantic. It doesn't, it, it's, that's not what they want at the end of the I'm day. I'm so sorry. Everyone Maybe that, at the end of the solo, everyone's tuned in fine. with their kids and going, "Look, quick, kids, we're going to get round here. Pete's going to teach us how to play guitar." <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Everybody gather around. Anyway, I'll do honestly, that. all <laughs> me and your mum did was a magic dance, yeah. and then you came along, <laughs> and we were smiling and dancing like this. And it is kind. Of, it's it's. I've all you know. There's that story. I keep telling that story about the dad bull and the son bull that stands on the hill, 
and and the sun going, come on, dad, let's run down. There's a whole valley of cows down in, in the valley there, and they, and there's sunny day, and there's they're standing on a hill that looks like they're going, and the dad's going, hey, what's up, man? And the sun is going, hey, dad, come on, let's run down and 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 just do one of the cows, you know. <laughs> And the dad bull goes, son, relax, man. Let's walk down and then do all of them. <laughs> Just relax. We'll walk down there. No running. We'll take it easy. And it's that, it's that sort of thing. Because then you build it up like that. It's I might like, have to ban you from our channel, Pete. I, I know. This, <laughs> no, but it's, it's that. I'm, I kind of think. No. I, I mean, I think, I think in a way that, you know, you, you have to build it up. You know, whether yeah. it's making a cake or whether it's, no, it's you making are. laugh or whatever it is, you start like you have to do that because if you just run into a solo and go, you yeah. know, then, then it's like, oh, God, I, I just want to hear, man. I just want to, can you just listen to John Mayer again? We bring him up all the mm. time or Eric Clapton or BB King. It's little things. Mm. Hey, hey, it's like that. And then it's like, oh, <laughs> you know. And then it's a real thing. And I think that is... I suppose that's the difference between... That's the difference between uh, very musical guitar players as opposed to very technical guitar players. Yeah. Well, um, and well, it's quite difficult, I think. I suppose music's subjective. Different people like yeah, different absolutely, things. Yeah, absolutely. But when I say a musical, I mean so a, a player who's very conscious of their phrasing and uh, the way in which what they play enhances the overall song yeah. as opposed to somebody who perhaps approaches it to be a very kind of like right let's I'm going to get just, all the modes in and all the scales all now. Yeah. you know which in some times can people be right are as well, you know and, yeah, yeah, and absolutely I'm not I'm, you know everything has got its anyway, place look, play the track <laughs> so anyway I'll, think, I'll think think in melodies mm. that's what I so try to do you know? I'm going to just I will try so I'm going to go back to to playing you know, essentially, if I'm playing E blues... Listen to the chord, so the chord yeah. goes... Then you play. That's it. Okay. Like maybe two, three or four notes. Yeah, and then... Four notes. I'm One, gonna, three, I have four. Three, notes. four. I'm gonna, I, that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to do four notes maximum. I'm going so to the... limit myself, okay. maybe even three if necessary. Before we necessary. turn the track on, let me yeah. just play the chord. Okay. Right? So if I go one, two, three, and you get a chord, four, and you go... And then you wait, and then you get the next one. Well, might have done five then. Now you're thinking about that it. That is the closest I've come to foreplay, I think, in literally like <laughs> 10 years. <laughs> what you could have done on the last one, you, you went like... You could have gone... You know, just, just no, to enhance that. I was that. very conscious on that last one that, yeah, uh, you're thinking, that oh, Jedi it? Master oh, yeah. Pete will need me to play this note, must get there immediately. But you're I thinking, now, now, now you're thinking <laughs> about it. And that, as soon as you do that, mm. boom. You, you're, it you're is the difference on in the in the brain it, for the next time. It is the difference, I think. You know, over that chord, I essentially the first three times round, all I've done is go. And and that's the difference between I think playing notes that enhance the mood and the vibe of the song, mm -hmm. rather than show off my ability to play the guitar. Yeah, and I suppose that's the or inability to play I mean, guitar, I mean, depending on uh, it's, it's that what again comes that, out. It's again that thing about oh, let's run down the hill and yeah. do quickly do one thing. Yeah, it's it's more important to, to walk down there and yeah. then get every little thing done. I know, and and also <laughs> I suppose I mean, you, you're this is I think where and this is something that I I utterly utterly relate to, which is if you are just going to play three notes or whatever. Yeah. Then obviously pick the, the good notes, yeah. but also get the sound. You know, pick the right distortion or the not or the right setting. Yeah. You know, get Absolutely. milk every little bit that you can to make Tonk those three notes just yeah. be the perfect. Yeah. 
And you have to notes. build it up. I mean, it's a solo is something for me. It's 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 something. Well, I know when we do the solos, sometimes we just literally going on. You know. We, yeah. We do all of that stuff and we go straight in there and, and yeah. it's and it's great. Because that's because that, we're demoing depends, stuff. It depends isn't it, on the vibe, you know. And, and so, but let's just. Um, I'm conscious that the guys here will. You, you know, I don't know if you're. You can go on a million YouTube sites or different websites if you just want to sh show, you know, the dots on a fretboard and find out what the five different positions yeah, are. Yeah, type it in, type it in Google. Uh, uh, for me personally, you know, if I'm going to come, if I'm approaching, say, E, I'm tending to slide between. Yeah, so let's do that three, again, just get that on the camera. There's like three, uh, you know, the, the, there's three positions of the pentatonic. So you you yeah. you're building the way up like that, right? So yeah. you, you and it's, that's that's a cool that's a cool approach. You can and and I just I don't I don't think I play hardly anything where I'd go. The only time yeah. I'd probably do that is if I'm using the open strings. You know where you where you have to have that kind of. <laughs> you, yeah, where you have to kind of have the, the, the you know that kind of open string yeah. progression, but there's loads of different you know. I, more Just recently, I've tried to really force myself to go. Where else could I play that? Yeah, and you know you do find. I I like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's why but, that's why that to to try to find the notes yeah, on the so, one string approach is yeah. if we run the track again and then you just go uh, like Kind of like that, yeah. so you find find that, that on the G string. That for comes instance, from, and then doesn't that come from that infamous gig that you did with Il Devo in Bulgaria, <laughs> where all five strings broke on your guitar and you had to do the entire gig on one string? Yeah, yeah, I had to yeah. play Passara, where there's uh, there's a whole song about seven minutes long. There's no chords that are the same at all in the whole song. Really? Just me and the, <laughs> it's just, that is it's heavy. just a nylon string guitar Seriously? and then singing at it, yeah. And then so, and then in like the last couple of minutes there's some strings that come in and you're like <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> But it's the it's uh, that was one of the most that painful. Is heavy. Yeah. Anyway. And you got a click going on in here. Click, 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 like oh, you're trying to play it in time and everything. Anyway, we'll save that for another conversation. So come on then. Pl so let's no, finish this off yeah. with um and you play build me over this track, build me a solo. Show me what you mean well, by building me a solo. Yeah, so building, so, yeah, a, so building solo. a solo is where you actually just did that, and that's what I thought about. If you start where you did, yeah. where you start here, and you build your way up. So let's say you you start down here and you go, what are you playing? Right. So you so you that's the way you can. So if you start down here, mm. as the track progresses up, I mean, a solo normally, it wouldn't be like a track like this. You would have like a couple of, maybe. That's true, you wouldn't you, have you, like you, four minutes no. of guitar solo. Uh, it might, it might, you might get, da, da, ba, da, da, and then you'll come in, and then you, you're just gonna be like. <laughs> you come in yeah. screaming, yeah. but then, and then you yeah. go. <laughs> you know, but that's what it leads the track to. But, yeah. you know, if you, wanna, if you wanna use the track as one long solo, for instance, yeah. Then you you would build up, and that, from that's down here. crazy, isn't it? Because you're completely right. I'm just trying to think. Some of my absolute all-time favorite solos of all time are literally five seconds long. There you go. You know, because it's just I'm just kind of thinking of of the the solo that um, Stevie Ray Vaughan does on "Let's Dance" by David Bowie, there which you go. is one of my absolute favorites. And it and it's literally <laughs> what is I it like? Know, uh, it's, it's just like little, I know, little it's, things it's like, like it's, it's so short, but it's so perfect to the point for that song yeah and um, that's that's what that is what it kind of needs to be mm. i mean and, and i think like bb king or clapton or stevie one there's a lot of examples out there what <laughs> what are you laughing about but anyway if you want to so if you want to yeah if you want to do a solo like that and you i want to do if you i want to build it up you then do you want to then you want to mm. 
Let me you see if I can... You do it. You do it. Come on. You, you do build, it. You build do it, it, Daddy. You build do it. it. To a crescendo. Yeah, but so you would, would go like... Um... did there was you took us up the hill and then you took us down the, the hill again, again didn't didn't you? You? up the hill and down <laughs> i mean that even you know and i must admit i put these tracks on and i said them along to myself i mean that's not that's not, i'm not lying but i do because it's kind of just it's, it's well, cool i tell you what we'll do then, i learn to, every day to to end this uh video uh, which has really been largely a shameless promotion for these backing tracks <laughs> that you should go and uh, download and buy and jam and, and these uh, these Fender guitars less so these color. Fender guitars but yes yeah. they are nice too. Uh, Pete and I'll play the whole track now, uh, and you can just purely for no reason other than enjoyment uh, for us anyway. And uh, <laughs> and then next week we'll do another one of these to another track. Yeah. Uh, but go and check it out because it yeah. is. I, I've gone from just jamming around and messing around on my own and then I kind of discovered the whole looper thing and that's a lot of fun too yeah. but the best best I suppose the second best thing from actually playing in a band like this with other musicians yeah. is to have like you know a whole ton of backing tracks and just go and find them on you know yeah. I'm sure there's other good albums out there as well which you can do and get them down absolutely there's and loads learn, there's loads you know learn those kind of you know when the mood is right for certain notes to come in and whether you want to call them fifths and ninths and sevenths or or whether you just want yeah. to know that actually it's that position and not that position and that i think a lot good. of i think a lot of people watching might know all of this already they might know that you know it's good to to talk the the minor in the or the sorry or the seven or whatever it is they might be good to target that they know where the notes are yeah uh but they and but it, it's all i'm gonna play the scale like that instead of just going yeah. you know doing that whole that I'm not you know yeah. like doing doing those little bits that makes the, the, that kind of I mean that is for me that is it's playing the, it's playing it finding a melody mm. and in your solo capturing the mood it's a melody man it's finding the melodies that's the, I think mm, hairs on the back <laughs> of your neck stand up Little, we get the other track on the other funky late night yeah, groove absolutely. and whatever. Come on. We'll do the next Come time. on, play, right. the, play the track. See you next time and thank you for watching. Yes, thank you. It's been a very long video. Days, Pete. It's been very well long. Well done for staying to the end. Yes, here we go. Um, you start. Okay. And then I'll mess it up later. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
TV <laughs> guitar jam tracks. <laughs> oh, look, it's the second hey! one. <laughs> You're not getting any of that till next week. Next week. The best £9.90 on iTunes you'll ever spend. <laughs> bye bye, I've been the captain. I'll tell you speaks. Later. Oh, look, it's the hey! second one. <laughs> You're not getting any of that till next week. Hey everybody, thanks for watching the Anderton's Guitar YouTube channel. If you're a drummer or a keyboard player or interested in music technology, you might find one of our other channels interesting and I'll put details of those in the description below. If you want to find out more about the products we've just featured, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like this, please click here. If you want to watch another video on our guitar channel, click down here. And to subscribe to our guitar channel, click here. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.